Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about cognitive process. Now we see the introduction of cognitive process. Cognitive process are all those higher level function of the brain by which we become aware of and understand of the world around us. Means cognitive process help us to understand this whole world because cognitive process is a process is a higher level function which include mental process and intelligence. So it help us in understanding this whole world. Cognitive comes from Latin word cognitio meaning to apprehend or understand. Cognitive word means to apprehend like with the help of cognitive process we apprehend this world and we understand all thing which is happened in this world. Cognitive process refer to the process of thinking involved in obtaining and storing knowledge. Cognitive process is that type of process through which we think something which we think what is happening in our environment. So we think and when we think something what happened ki we store knowledge. So this is called cognitive process. Cognitive process is taken from some word that is called cognition. Cognition word is related to our mind, intelligence and mental process. So, cognitive psychology is the branch of psychology in which we include mental process and how people think, how they perceive, how they talk something. This all include in the cognitive process. How we remember something, all these aspects include in cognition. Now we talk about types of cognitive process. There are many types of cognitive process. So we see the types. First one is what? Sensation. Next, attention. Perception. Learning. Memory. Thinking. Decision making. Problem solving. Now we discuss this all things in detail. First one is what? Sensation. It refers to our awareness about various stimuli which we encounter in different modalities such as vision, hearing, touch, smell and test. So what is sensation? When we get information by our sense organ like vision, hearing, touch, smell, test. So this is called sensation. Like in our environment, we see all things with our sense organ. And when we see something with our sense organ, what happened? Like we see something. So firstly, uh, this message sent to our brain. So sensation is related to our cognition. So sensation helps us in understanding this whole world. Next one is attention. It is the cognitive process that make it possible to position ourselves toward relevant stimuli and consequently respond to it. It means attention help in focusing. It helps in concentrating. Like we take the example of a net GRF. Like we are preparing for net GRF exam. If we not attention on our target, so what happened? We are not able to qualify our exam. So when we prepare net GRF exam, we focus on our syllabus. We focus that which coaching is good for us. So this is called attention that we focus in our exam. So attention is very important. Attention is of two types. It is visual attention also and auditory attention also. When we see something and when by seeing something we concentrate then it, it is called visual attention and when we listen something and by listening we concentrate it is called auditory attention like we take the example now now you are listening to my video and you able to see, see what is written on screen and you are also able to listen that what i am speaking so this is what? This is visual plus auditory both. So this is called attention of visual and auditory. Attention is focusing something, concentrating something and by focusing and concentrating we reach our target. 
and this thing is related to our cognitive process because we focus if we focus in anything then we concentrate and when we concentrate we should have to pay our mind in a concentration way so this is called attention now perception what is perception in case of perception we process information and make out the meaning of stimuli available to us so what is perception it is that type of process in which we perceive something from our stimuli like you see the example like now you are seeing the the video of examples and you are reading which topic cognitive process so what happen when you see you are reading the cognitive process then you perceive that uh, today i read cognitive process only na means when you see something then perceive as it is written as same thing you are not perceiving that you are reading uh, you are going to read like jean piaget theory or vygotsky theory so perception is what it is perceiving something like you are perceiving that cognitive process is written on the screen uh, so you should have to read cognitive process only so this is called perception okay like when you see some pain what you perceive you perceive that you perceive that that pain is used for writing okay so perception is what when you perceive something with your sense organ only and perception is related to your cognitive process also because when you see something you perceive something there must be mental process active and there must be some intelligence is working so this is called perception now next one is what learning it help us acquiring new knowledge and skill through ex experience and practice like we uh, we earlier study about learning learning is what learning is change in behavior when we learn something like we ride bicycle by so this is also learning like all thing which we see in our environment and we learn from that that is called learning learning is change in behavior what is memory the information we process and learn is registered and stored in memory system memory is like process like we learn something like we learn something what happen we firstly we learn something like i am re, uh, like we learn something first up what happen we store that information in our mind and after storing we retrieved it okay like you take the example of uh, this video only uh, like uh, i am you are uh, i am teaching this video to you what happen you first listen okay you first listen and then you learn after that you retrieve so what happen this is memory ki you learn something and you stored and after storing you retrieve and memory is of many type it is short term memory long term memory when you concentrate something so it is in long term memory and when you not concentrating in anything you are not focusing so it is called short term memory like now you are pre preparing for nt net jr exam and i am teaching you this video of cognitive process what happen you learn this okay when you learn this you store in your mind and when you sit in your examination hall what happen the same question will come in your examination hall also then you retrieve that information which is stored in your mind so this is called memory when you retrieve something so memory is what it is learning it is storing and after storing you retrieve understood now next one is thinking what is thinking in case of thinking we use our stored knowledge to solve various problem we logically establish the relationship among various object in our mind thinking is that type of process in which we should have to concentrate in our mind and we should have to focus it establishes relationship and it helps us in problem solving like when we see some uh, some mathematics 
what happened we first thought na ki what it is written on this uh, question and after thinking we solved that problem so thinking is helpful in problem solving okay so we logically establish the relationship like we establish relation like we see uh, what is written on question paper and then we establish relationship of that question paper with our previous uh, knowledge and then we uh, then uh, correlation will be uh, happen and this is called thinking okay understood now next one is what decision making what is decision making the thought process of selecting a logical choice from the available option what happen when you think something like uh, after thinking you started to decision making like you want to prepare for a uh, net geography exam for what happened first you think that i should have to clear this exam now you started doing decision ki how you should have to prepare for this you started decision with your uh, parents with your family member your teacher and after uh, making decision you uh, means means final that you are able to for solving the uh, for appearing in net jrf exam so this is called decision making ki you decide something after thinking you decide something so this is decision making okay understood now next one is what problem solving it is a mental process that involves discovering analyzing and solving problem when you think something when you start decision making after that you uh, do problem after that you solve your problem like you when you see a mathematic question written on that first you think then you decide that how to solve this and after deciding you started to solve that problem this is called problem solving so this all stages are related to our cognitive process and this all are the types of our cognitive process so cognitive process is very important without cognitive process we are not able to do anything because it is related to our mental it is related to our intelligence thinking problem solving means all the thing which happen through our mind is called cognitive process now my topic is completed Thank you